In this video, I'm going to visualize addition and subtraction of similar fractions. So for example, we have 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. So what is the sum of these two similar fractions? Let us visualize first. We have 2 fourths, which is having 2 shaded parts out of 4. And we're going to add 1 fourth or 1 shaded part out of 4. And so all in all, there are 3 shaded parts out of 4. That means the sum of 2 fourths and 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Let's take another example. We have 1 sixth plus 2 sixth. So let us visualize this. We have 1 sixth or 1 shaded part out of 6. And we want to add 2 out of uh, 6. So here's the 2 shaded parts out of 6. And all in all, it is... 3 out of 6 or 3 shaded parts out of 6. But then, if we are going to remove some of the slices, it can be looked like this, which is actually equal to 1 half. So the sum of 1 6 and 2 6 is 1 half. Another example, we have 4 ninths plus 2 ninths. So let us visualize 4 ninths. We have 4 shaded parts out of 9. And we want to add 2 ninths or 2 shaded parts out of 9. So all in all, it is 6 ninths or 6 shaded parts out of 9. But then if we, can, if we remove some of the slices, it will look like this. That means 6 ninths can be reduced into 2 thirds. So the sum of 4 ninths and 2 ninths is 2 thirds. Now let's have subtraction of similar fractions. We have 2 fourths minus 1 fourth. So let us visualize 2 fourths. So this is 2 fourths, 2 shaded parts out of 4. And we want to subtract 1 fourth. So let us remove 1 shaded part out of 4 or 1 fourth. And what we have left is only one shaded part out of four or one fourth. So the difference between two fourths and one fourth is one fourth or one shaded part out of four. Another example, we have five sixth minus three sixth. So let us visualize this. We have five shaded parts out of six or five sixth, and we want to remove three shaded parts out of six or three six. So what's left is two shaded parts or two six. But then if we remove some slices, it would look like this. That means two six can be reduced into one third. That means the difference between five six and three six is one third. Another example we have 9 tenths minus 3 tenths. So let's visualize 9 tenths. So we have 9 shaded parts out of 10. And we want to remove 3 shaded parts out of 10. So let us remove 3 shaded parts. And what we have left is 6 out of 10 or 6 tenths. And then if we are going to remove some slices, it gonna look like this. That means the six tenths can be reduced into three fifths. That means the difference between nine tenths and three tenths is three fifths. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.